David Bausch, Dennis Baxter. They're the names of those who made the ultimate sacrifice, the brave members of the U.S. Armed Forces who fought in the Vietnam War. Most would usually make the trek out to Washington, D.C. to take in such a sight, but this Vietnam Memorial is in Morris County. The so-called Moving Wall is a half-sized replica of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in the nation's capital. For more than 35 years, it has been touring the country, bringing the experience to those who cannot travel. This week, it made a stop in Randolph at the County College of Morris, thanks in part to Vietnam veteran Emerson Crooks, who at first was dealt with several obstacles, including funding and finding a location. I was in the Marine Corps. You know, so uphill battles are something that you, you're trained to engage in. You're engaged in a nice mile way. It's a different sort of a, a battle. After five years of garnering support from the community, which started out as a conversation between Crooks and his fellow vet Jack Sassaman, came into fruition. Hundreds of visitors came by Friday for opening day. Elected officials even issued proclamations, declaring July 7th through 11th tribute days for Vietnam War veterans. I've certainly been to the wall on the mall in D.C. and it's such a moving experience that I'm so happy that people here in the district have an opportunity to see it. For veteran Gary Hickey, it's more of an emotional reunion with his staff sergeant, Theodore Rowley, whose middle name was Texas. It's a pin of the state he has carried around for years that honors his fallen friend. It's great. It's like they all, this is, they're all coming here to say hello to us when this wall comes. The Vietnam Memorial Moving Wall will be on display here at the County College of Morris through July 11th. In Randolph, I'm Andrew Ramos, Fix 11 News.